questions from girls who are now starting to cam or they're interested in camming and they basically want advice on how to get started um how to be successful with it because i know that some girls hit me up in my dm or hit me up by email telling me that they started doing it but it's really hard for them because they're not sure what they should be doing or what they should not be doing and how to keep customers and everything like that. I'm just gonna give you girls some advice on how to get started, okay? I got my phone because I got some notes, all right? The first thing that you want to do is do research on sites. When I first started, I hopped on this website called Chatterbait, and it was one of the worst things I ever did. The money was good, but the site was absolute trash. Anybody could see your show. People who didn't pay could see your show. It was like you had so many people who was taking advantage of people who were actually paying. You could have like 75 people in your damn room and only fucking goddamn 25 people to pay. And a lot of times you have all these people who are basically able to see. These people could also record you. So if all these people, these, these free motherfuckers, these fucking freeloaders, that's what I call them, the freeloaders of these sites, they come on, they get to see your show, they're recording you and putting your ass on porn sites, all types of shit. And that's not something that's protecting the cam girl. Now, um, I ended up finding a site that was awesome. Okay, I'm not gonna say their name, but um, it's an awesome site. It protects the cam girl. The only time, you know, people can see you do anything is if they pay. But yeah, make sure you research your sites first. And when you do end up finally getting a good site, you want to first worry about your setup, okay? Where you're gonna cam at. And that could be your bedroom, living room, wherever. Just make sure you have great lighting, a great camera, and make sure it just looks nice, it looks presentable. I see so many women on cam who be having shit all over the place, they be having trash, clothes everywhere, they only have like one lamp, you know, and the camera is terrible. Filthy hotness, like it's roaches up in here, like it just looks nasty. Right now I have two lights, two umbrella lights, and the camera I have is a really cheap camera, but it's great because it's Logitech. Is a Logitech C920 camera. It's a really clear camera. It's not expensive. It's like 50 or 60 bucks. Please invest in a great camera and great lighting because that's going to attract customers. When you start camming, please do not put yourself at a cheap rate. When you put yourself at a cheap rate, people take advantage of you. They take advantage of you a whole lot when you're a cheap price. They'll be asking you to do whatever. They'll talk to you like shit. You need to start yourself off at a pretty good rate. I tell every girl to start off at $4.99 a minute in private and $5.99 exclusive because it's not too cheap and it's not expensive. Everybody can afford it and you still have control there. So always, ladies, always, 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 start at $4.99 and up. Creating your own rules in your room. When I first got on, I used to wing it. Let me just first tell you guys that I've been camming for about three years. Only two years consistently though. I don't even know if maybe two years fully. It might have been, it might be like a year and a half. It might be like a year and a half, two years. But the one thing you do want to do is make sure that you you have full control in your work. Like I said, people will treat you like shit and talk to you fucking crazy. Knowing my crazy ass, I'll be snapping on people. Like I'll be going from fucking one to 100 in fucking two seconds. 
And my customers know this. You know, like people who see me on a regular, they know that my ass is crazy. I'll be sitting there having a great conversation, like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We'll be smiling, laughing, and all that. One person can say something out the way, and I snap, okay? And they like, oh shit, my bad. I didn't know it was a, it was an issue. You know, like, have people come in your room and say hello to you. Don't be people who come in your room and just be like, calling you all types of names, like, what's up, bitch? Talk to you crazy, bitch. Like, they will talk to you crazy. Automatically, stop that shit. Like, you got me fucked up. Come in my room and you greet me with respect. Motherfucker, you coming to see my ex. Don't talk to me like I'm none of these other cheap ass, lame ass, dirty bitches on the site because I'm not. People like that. Like, people love my attitude. They love that I can snap within like two seconds. They love the fact that I put people in their place. Because there's so many women online so many cam girls who are desperate and they just let people talk to them any old type of way. They don't give a fuck. They just want some money. This is a business transaction. You can't be talking to me like you have to fucking mind, okay? So you got to make sure that you create that and stick to it. You make sure people know not to be talking to you like they out their motherfucking mind. And then go back to what you were doing. I will go from smiling to fucking cussing the motherfucker out and going right back to smiling. Like, <laughs> I don't play that shit at all. Have personality. Talk. You know, people love a girl online who can keep their attention. What I know is, I know everybody loves my personality. I'm funny, you know what I'm saying, I'm cute, and I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I feel like saying. People gravitate towards that instead of a fucking cam girl just sitting in her room with a straight face and not even talking. If you go through rooms on whatever cam site that you're on, you will see women who literally do nothing. You sit there and just don't talk, don't move, don't smile, don't laugh, Nothing. You will be surprised at how many boring bitches it is. Not just on the website, but in the world, bitch. You gotta be laughing, joking, chilling in your room. You're gonna be on in your room for hours. You can't be just sitting there bored, bitch. You gotta be entertaining. You gotta entertain yourself, have motherfuckers entertain your ass in that motherfucker. You gotta have fun with it. Don't be a boring ass cam girl and just doing it because you need it for money. Like, have fun. I have fun with cam. We be in there fucking geeking in my room, okay? We be laughing, we be talking about video games, anime. We be talking about weird fucking shit we've been through, experiences, like, you got to have fun with it. You want to build a connection with them where they feel like they can't leave your room. Be cute. Don't just get on that motherfucker looking a hot ass fucking mess, bitch. Like, I be seeing bitches on there who be looking a hot fucking mess. Put on any fucking day. Be presentable. Don't get on this motherfucker with your fucking twerp ass holy ass panties or twerp ass holy ass shirt, none of that. Lingerie is not everything. Like, when I first got on, I used to wear lingerie all the time. Guys actually like me more when I'm like in a tank top and some panties, bitch. One night I got one and I was like, you know what, fuck this. I'm gonna get on some goddamn uh, a tank top and some panties because this is what I wear when I'm ready to go to bed. I didn't even feel like doing the most, okay? I didn't feel like being all trapped inside of a goddamn corset, bitch. My room was full as fuck that first night. And I was like, I was asking these guys, I was like, Y'all, some of y'all come see me all the time, but what is it about tonight? And they were saying they love when a girl is just in her natural setting. When they see a woman who's always in lingerie or always in bra and panties, they're, they're always seeming fit because they know women aren't looking like that all the time. They have like kind of like a a girlfriend fantasy with you when, they're, when you're in just your regular clothes, they find it cute and sexier. My ass is always in goddamn PJs on there. I'm not even on front, bitch. I'm, on, I'm in my PJs 100% of the time now. If you are popular and even if you're not popular, okay, people are always gonna find out. And when I first got on cam, I was already popular. Like I said, I wasn't even doing it on a regular basis. I was maybe doing it once or twice a week. And I ended up seeing, having one of my um, videos leak online. Somebody recorded me off the chat bait, recorded my shit, put it on a porn site, and then it somebody found it on Twitter and it went crazy. 
when it happened, I did not care. But I was still like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck did this even happen? And it was all because of this whack ass site. But the more popular you get, the more it's gonna happen. Right now, I'm close to like 20,000 followers. I have like 6,000 followers on YouTube on this channel. I have 5,000 followers on my other YouTube channel. I'm on Twitch now. Like, I'm everywhere, right? I'm gonna let you know, every other day, bitch, I'm telling you, every other day, someone is in my mentions, or somebody's in my email, or somebody's telling me, oh, I found you on this porn site. You, your, your cam shit ended up getting on a porn site. All you have to do, this is for new cam girls, all you have to do is contact the porn site and tell them to remove it. Let them know that you're the female in the video and tell them to remove it because it is illegal for people to record you and put your stuff online without your permission or knowledge or consent. A lot of women do not know this. They have all their videos out there and they don't know what to do. Contact the website, the porn site, and have it removed. But I'ma let you know now, if you don't want people knowing about you being on cam, you do not need to be doing it because people will find out. People always ask me, how can I hide myself? How can I do this? How can I do that? And you're gonna always be put out there because you're putting yourself out there on the website you know, on a campsite, people are gonna find out. All you gotta do is be like, bitch, I don't give a fuck and keep it moving because you're getting money, bitch. If you don't give a fuck like me, <laughs> then go ahead and get on cam and do your thing. If you guys have any other questions or anything, you can ask me below in the comments. But um, that's my advice. I hope some of you girls who are new cam girls, you know, you do good and you become successful with it. Have fun is my, my most important thing. Have fun. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. Um, make sure you guys comment, you like, you subscribe, you follow me on all of my social media, <laughs> and you share this shit. And love, laugh, positive vibes. <laughs> Bubs.